did a food shop. I'm feeling abundant. I'm feeling abundant. I've got, I'm gonna have a fridge full of delicious vegetables. Ooh, and I've, I've got a cooker to cook them in now. I've got a car absolutely stocked to the roof of plants. I'm feeling love in my, radiating from my heart, from my chest. I'm feeling abundant. Ooh, it feels good. It makes me, it puts a smile on my face. I'm just driving around every, wow, look at this. No, don't look at this view. Dri focus on the road. I'm already vlogging and driving. It's so dangerous to vlog and drive. My track record is terrible as well. I've crashed so many times whilst vlogging. I'm dangerous until proven safe. Well, my track record proves that I'm safe though. No, rules are rules. Well, I like breaking the fucking rules, okay? Relax, there's no one on the road. Anyway, I'm talking about abundance. It's an important conversation. I just did a little Instagram story explaining this, my thoughts that are in my mind at the moment and in my heart, which are, this feeling of like self-love, self-worthiness. I feel fucking valuable right now. I feel valuable to myself. And because I understand and I know my true worth, my boundaries are strong. People can't just take from me quite so easily anymore. I used to have weak boundaries because the only way I used to feel love was by giving money, time, energy, attention, shout outs any kind of any kind of way i could possibly give 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 in my life i would give it because i that's the way that my heart felt good that's the way i experienced the feeling of love and that hasn't changed i feel great when i give however i now also have learned to receive I'm allowed to receive from the universe, from nature, from other people. I can read my comments on these YouTube videos and when people are saying nice things about me, which they have always been saying for years, now I actually read them and I take them to heart. Not because they boost my ego up, but because they make my heart feel warm and I know that I am receiving as well as giving. I'm giving by making a video and then I'm also allowed to receive the intention of that kind comment. That person's writing that comment saying, oh, I hope Ben reads this comment because I want him to know how much I really enjoyed this video. So I read the comment and then I feel in my heart, mm, this person fucking enjoyed my video. It was worth it. It was worth making, it. it's worth all the sacrifices. And like, and what was I ever worried about in the first place? Trust myself. Of course, these people are enjoying the videos. I enjoy making them. I'm blasting positive energy into them. I'm feeling abundant. It's a whole cycle and I'm giving and I'm learning to receive now. Okay, so this is the important thing. I didn't used to know how to receive. Receiving was a tricky thing for me. I don't know why and I don't want to unpack it right now and go into all the details of childhood, this, that and the other, or whatever. But now, when I didn't know how to receive, I only felt love by giving and so I'd give time, money, energy, anything I could possibly give, I would give it to feel that feeling of love. Mm. And so, as a giver, I would naturally, as givers, let me know in the comments <laughs> if this um, pertains to you, but as a giver, we naturally attract people because that's how life works. We magnetize the opposites to us sometimes, right? As a giver, we're gonna attract takers into our lives. That's a given. Anybody who, if you're standing on the street handing out money, people who want to take money will come at you. Like, and that's a terrible example, but like, if, if someone needs validation and attention to feel good about themselves, and you're the, like me, I'm the sort of person that loves to engage really deeply with people and give them my presence and my energy, they will keep that conversation going even if you, I'm running out of time, I've got to be somewhere, a person's like, no, 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 wait, stay, stay, give me more of your time, give me more of your energy, validate me more. And really, I'm running late for something, and so that's a lack of boundaries. That's also a lack of boundaries. I've had a lack of boundaries around all sorts of different energy in my life, aspects of energy, including finances, where I would give money um, 
to people in my life who are natural takers and I'm feeling, I'm like, take it, take it. This is making me feel great. I feel great about myself because I'm giving. So no judgment to anybody in this at all. But as soon as I started deploying some boundaries, which is a form of self-care, a very important form of self-care and self-respect, respect myself enough, love myself enough to set some fucking boundaries. I'm not just gonna give all my money away until I have no more money left because I have done that in the past and it fucked me royally. And it made me resent the people who I was giving the money to, which is ironic because they're the people that I was trying to love the most. And it made that resentment made them resent me and then friendships fell apart all because I hadn't set clear boundaries. Ah, oh, whoa mad epiphanies and it's all very well like intellectualizing and understanding and unpacking this thing from the mind which is very masculine but right now I'm feeling the embodiment of the emotions of the energy of this I feel it in my body not just understand it in my mind which is the key so I've got heart and mind coherence which is making me feel very aligned which is making me feel like I'm literally in heaven which is um, also the beautiful feeling of having learned my lesson. I don't have to learn this lesson again. I've got strong and clear boundaries that I exercise and every single time someone who I feel like wants to take, take, take from me, the most loving thing I can do for them is love myself, set my clear boundaries, right? And how other people take my boundaries, how they react to them or respond to them is actually nothing to do with me and says more about them than it does for me. So if someone starts getting uh, agitated at me because I don't, I'm not giving them the amount of time maybe in a friendship or a relationship that they want or need from me, if they are taking that boundary personally, then that's got nothing to do with me, that's all to do with them. Now, when you set boundaries with people who also set boundaries, the depth of connection and respect between the two people goes up. We, it gets deeper. That person's like, I can actually, people who set good boundaries, as I start setting them with myself and with them, they're like, ah, I fucking trust you and I respect you because you are communicating openly and clearly, clear is kind with boundaries. Thank you for setting those boundaries so that I know where I stand and there's no miscommunication, which always leads to resentment in some form or another. And, mm, yeah, this is a lot in one video, I know. Um, but I'm just feeling so abundant right now. And I feel like I'm attracting and magnetizing all the good things into my life right now. And it's because I'm setting those clear boundaries and I'm learning to receive from the universe, which is abundant, believe that the universe is abundant and receive the abundance of the universe, fully receive it, whoa, and I'm literally witnessing like a huge eagle. Whoa, beautiful. Mm. I'm moving house today. Go and check the vlog out if you're interested in seeing me move house. This clip actually was meant to go in the vlog, but it's not going to go in the vlog. This is going to go up as a separate uh, with extra feels video um, because it's nine minutes long now. <laughs> and I love to talk. You know me. I get into a bit of a a bit of a flow state with these things as I'm having these sort of downloads or whatever you want to call it, where. I'm just feeling very connected to myself, connected to my environment, and um, a coherence between the intellectual mind. My mind is like dissecting things and understanding things and intellectualizing things. And at the same time, my heart is online and I'm feeling the energy move through me. So it's all kind of in this bit of a flow state. It feels great for me. I don't know how it feels for you guys watching this. Tell me, let me know in the comments how it feels for you. Share this video with someone who maybe needs to um, hear this or understand. Someone like me a few years ago who's like just giving, giving, giving and not seeing or really fully understanding that I'm attracting naturally uh, energy vampires. No judgment. I love energy vampires and I'll tell you why. 
Energy vampires have taught me my most valuable lesson in my whole life, how much I'm truly worth. No fucking judgment whatsoever. And I'm not just like, like um, bashing my old friendship groups or anything like that. Most people in my life were giving to me as much as I was giving to them. I had very beautiful uh, reciprocate, reciprocative friendships and relationships, but that definitely was um, attracting people into my life who, was who were just taking, taking, taking. And then as, of course, as soon as the resources run out, as soon as I'm like, I can't pay you anything more, I can't give you any more money, I can't give you any more time, I can't give you any more energy because I'm fucking tired and actually I'm just done with life and actually I'm having a fucking meltdown. The energy vampires kind of disappear and go and find energy from somewhere else. Totally normal, totally natural, and no judgment whatsoever. I'm sure I've been an energy vampire. I'm sure I've been an energy vampire in my life. I'm sure. Um, and also, like, I'm just as much to blame. I take full responsibility for that uh, relationship and that dynamic in that relationship because I'm participating in it as well. I'm not busy blaming anybody. I'm honestly opening up and on, I'm being honest and open about my participation in that relationship and how that other person, those other people may well also have shit to fucking say about me too. And I take full responsibility for that. But I think it's important to talk about these things because there are energy vampires out there and I care a lot about people and I care a lot about, there's like triple one on a number plate. Like I'm seeing triple numbers, quadruple numbers, like everywhere I look at the moment and that's how I know I'm in the fucking zone. That's how I know like I'm connected deeply and usually that happens when my heart has expanded and open and I feel so happy to be here that I don't even need to use my mind. I can just sit in bliss experiencing my life uh, like I'm in heaven, in earth, heaven on earth. Mm. Anyway, fuck I feel good. Like I, yeah, I, some people in the comments are like, why are you Cooper, having to explain why you're feeling so good? It's almost like you're having to persuade yourself and us that you feel good. Well, <laughs> with an attitude like that, yeah, I kind of do have to persuade you, I suppose. But can't you feel it? Can you feel how good I feel? Compare this to like, well, I know that I've felt good in a lot of my videos over the years. Um, but I'm feeling good now just because I'm feeling good, because I'm understanding myself, because I'm learning more about myself. I'm, I'm knowing thyself, know thyself. It's so fucking important to know ourselves. And because then, and I, here's the thing, I love myself more than I've ever loved myself and not in an egoic way, not a I'm better than you way, in a way that's like, I am you, we're fucking equal, I am a divine eternal being of light, and so are you, and we're here in heaven, in heaven, and we can choose to have the best fucking time of our lives. That's why I'm excited, and we don't need any material possessions to fucking do that. We don't need that shit. It's all up here and in here. Everything is within and those motherfuckers were right the whole time. Go within, do your healing work, understand yourself, know yourself and love yourself. And I promise you, your life will change in ways that words actually can't even do justice to. I, your, my life has changed in ways that is, I've literally gone from wanting to kill myself in, in a state of hell to like, I have no words for the, the joy that I feel for just simply waking up in the morning and existing. I certainly don't want to fall into the trap of the spiritual ego where the spiritual ego is like, I'm better than you because I'm more aware of myself than you, or I've done more yoga than you, or I can meditate for longer than you, or I've got a more direct connection to spirit than you. Like there's no, the whole point of the spiritual like journey and the awakening is to discover that there is no hierarchy. There is no competition. I'm not in competition with you at all. I'm not in competition with anybody. And this was the illusion that I was caught in until I fucking, that penny dropped where I was like, oh shit. Like to be in competition with other people is to be in the state of mind of lack 
as if there's only enough there's not enough for everybody so I have to get there before you and that means I have to put myself in front of you and that is the ego's way of surviving when actually there's plenty for everybody anyway I love you thank you for watching this video if you're interested in more stuff like this go and check out my patreon the link is in the description patreon.com forward slash benjam brown and if you want to support my art and my journey in general just head over to benjam.uk that's my website i made a new website and i'm selling prints over there and there's cool mandala prints on there as well i'm gonna be uploading more of those i love you i love you i love you thank you